What's up, guys? This is Derek. More plates, more dates.com. Today, we're going to be talking about Martina Big and her Milano Tan 2 usage, or should I say chronic abuse? It's probably a more accurate term. So, <laughs> this lady has uh, been in the news before, apparently. I'm just seeing it for the first time now, but uh, for trying to become black and that's in her words becoming, you know, she thinks she's actually changing her ethnicity by increasing the amount of melanin in her skin, but that's not the case. Um, there's a ton of misinformation in this video and is kind of why I'm making this reaction to it in the first place. I'm going to be going through it with you guys and critiquing or correcting certain points. I'm what I would consider to be a pretty veteran Milano tan uh, researcher or user, whatever you want to call it, um, used it many times before, um, for as long as a year straight. Um, this lighting, you can't really tell. I just look like pale as usual in here, but you can actually tell if you go look at some of my training videos, my skin's actually permanently darker now, even though I haven't used Milano tan in over a year now and I get, you know, minimal sun exposure my base color is actually darker than it used to be because of the long-term Milano tan use. But um, the extent to which this lady has taken it is like obviously next, next level. And uh, there's just a lot of uh, discrepancies and incorrect statements made in this video that I wanted to clear up because she's kind of misrepresenting this drug entirely and making it seem like um, it changes people from white to black. And that's certainly not the case. So I just want to go through it with you guys. There's definitely a permanent aspect to it. However, it's not to the extent that Martina Big is, uh, you know, alluding to in her video. So let's bring this up and uh, react to it. <laughs> began life in Germany as a light-skinned blonde girl making headlines around the world when she had injections to change the color of her skin. Over the past two years, Martina Big has radically altered her appearance in order to become a black woman. And this morning has followed every step of her controversial story. I like my natural blonde beauty, but also it's like tuning um, the, um, if boys get a new car, they start tuning and then they say, oh, it's a nicer result. Yeah. But yeah. what was it, in, what was it uh, that made you realize that you wanted to change? At first, I only want to have summer tan. And um, this new medicine, they told us it is, um, will protect the, the skin against the sun and will make more tan. OK. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to comment on is how she refers to new medicine this is not medicine this is not approved for human use it's a drug that never made it through clinical trials there's no concrete way to use this stuff nor is there a legal way to do it um her referring to it as medicine is already misrepresenting what this drug is in the first place so let's continue but at, at this point they didn't know that it will work um really extreme much for me it, it works mm. really really good so this is the this is the melatonin injections and this was your surgeon they cost 170 pounds ago if you you've had three is that right or yeah, more okay that part was just an example of this reporter having no idea what she's talking about and not doing proper research i'm nearly positive she said melatonin injections which you probably know as well like, I don't even need to tell you that melanotan and melatonin are two completely different things. Melatonin, as you would know, is the thing that regulates your circadian rhythm and helps you fall asleep. It's endogenously produced, and it's in a lot of over-the-counter sleep supplements as well, um, you know, to help with uh, resetting your uh, internal clock if you went traveling and you had uh, jet lag, stuff like that. So melatonin is not what this lady used. She used melanotan 2, not 1, 2. I'm nearly positive. I can't prove that. But melanotan 2 is almost entirely the only thing people use now. It's way more potent. And it's the only thing people would use to achieve this result. So just put it that way. It's way more, uh, way stronger than 1. And 
surgeon. Did she say 170 pounds for that? If she's a surgeon charging, first of all, if you have a doctor or a cosmetic applicator, the plastic surgeon, whatever you want to call it, who is, first of all, even offers this as a service, it's illegal as hell, first of all. Second of all, them charging a certain amount for it that's incredibly overpriced <laughs> that's like uh five to ten times markup of what it costs so they're buying it you have a guy who's buying it uh an approved cosmetic surgeon is buying a generic unapproved drug from china for 10 bucks a vial or something and then giving a prescribed medicinal according to them uh injection to these patients with this unapproved drug for a stupid markup so first of all it's not a medicine it's not legal to sell nor to inject into patients that's for sure and the fact that this isn't being clarified in a news story is kind of insane to me and they're just talking about this like it's a thing that's prescribed normally it's definitely not so to make that clear Yes, yeah. ago, three, uh, three, three, three years ago, uh, uh, Michael and I had the same injections, the same amount at the same, uh, also two years ago, yeah. and a little bit um, other things, but also only three injections and working. The body is breaking itself. This is, uh, it is no classical uh, tanning injection. It's an uh, injection just uh, changed. Okay. She said she had three shots years ago, first of all. No, she didn't. She's still using it to this day. There's no way in hell she went from white to black without chronic use of this stuff. Like, she's still, I guarantee you she's buying it herself now from research chemical websites or China or wherever she's getting it and injecting it into herself, probably still at super high insane dosages. You can't pin three shots of Milano tan two and go from white to black and maintain it for years on end. Even three shots in itself, even if she mega dosed it to the point where she was vomiting everywhere from it being so strong, because if you use way too much mel Milano tan, you're going to puke probably. Um, and send yourself to the hospital from being so nauseous. Um, even if she did three like stupidly high shots, all she would have done was blow herself up with freckles and moles and probably, you know, darken her skin to quite an extent, but it wouldn't have lasted for two years. Like there's no, there's no way. Trust me. The amount my skin's faded after using it for not using it for a year after using it for like a year straight prior to that, I know how much this stuff can permanently darken your skin and how long it stays. And that is definitely indicative of her still injecting it to this day on her own to continue getting darker or maintain how dark she is because without the Milano 10 injections she would not be able to maintain that uh amount of melanogenesis in her body because her body simply doesn't endogenously do that it's being stimulated by this drug to increase the amount of melanogenesis in her body to react from the external stimuli to get that deep of a tan like there's no way she would be able to maintain that otherwise white people have way less melanogenesis occurring in their body therefore they have less of uh um reaction to external stimuli aka the uv rays they basically because they have less melanogenesis incurring endogenously they can't produce as much melanin to protect the hypodermis, the layer under the skin from the potentially damaging UV rays. So it's basically protectant, your amount of melanogenesis to increase melanin, your like shield against the UV rays. And white people simply have a much lower amount of that occurring. And the only way you can maintain that dark of skin is through synthetic stimulation of that process because you just wouldn't you can't pin it and have that amount continue thereafter you have to continue stimulating it through synthetic means to maintain that so they're 
she's pretty much lying here and saying she had three shots only. Like, I guarantee she's using mega doses to this day. And other changes also, because it's not just been yeah, the skin. As of for me, you can see and the skin is getting darker from the beginning from the first week. Yeah. But in the course of time, you also could see the eye color is getting darker, the eyebrow color is getting darker. My growing hair is changing the structure, it's getting curly and more dark and also everything changed. So there, but there's a difference here because you, that, that's one thing, the sort of visual aspect of how you now. Okay, so that is partially true. So Milano 10 2 and Milano 10 1 um, will, in a dose dependent manner, increase melanogenesis endogenously, which increases the, you know, darkens the pigment of your skin in response to UV rays, but also it will darken facial hair, um, eyebrows, hair on your head, um, hair on your body. Um, and if you get to like extreme abuse territory, it can darken your eyes. Now, I've never experienced that to a significant extent. I did have a bit of darkening of my facial hair, but that was about it. Eyes, definitely not. They're still blue. Um, they never darkened whatsoever. This lady's clearly using absurd amounts. Like, there's no way you can darken your eyes significantly without... Like, I, obviously, it goes without saying she's abusing the hell out of it based on her skin color now, but... The eyes changing too, that's like 100% indicative of continuous abusive use or abusive dosages or whatever you want to call it. Not that there's a concrete amount of use and abuse because it's not approved for human use anyways, but you get what I mean. I can clearly feel that I'm black, but also it's really hard to find the right words to explain people who are not involved. Oh, this medicine is not only working for only for the skin. It's changing everything together. The feelings change. The, the so, eye so are you? Are you so sorry to interrupt you. You're saying that it wasn't until you had the injection that you realized that you identified. Also, also the, the injections only started the pro process. But um, being black is not only being different color. It's, yes. It's all everything in in um, in, com to in total. For example, when I go outside now. I'm getting in touch with the dark people much easier, and I have um, a lot of stuff. I um, when I compare to my yeah. African friends, I have more um, with them common than with my German friends. There's a lot friends. of people that will be watching this mm. that that will be upset about what you're saying. That they will find that this is they'll be offended by. Okay, so another thing to comment on the hair getting curly. That's not an effect from Milano 10 whatsoever. She's making that up. She's curling it herself. If that's what, if she has normally straight hair to get those curls, she's not, has, the drug does nothing to your hair straightness, like to clarify. So if she's claiming her hair is a result of Milano 10 injections, it certainly is not. The color of it may be, but the curliness, definitely not. And as well as, being more interested in stuff that her friends are interested in. That's just her trying to fit in with her friends, not the drug making her more interested in whatever they're interested in. Like that's ridiculous to claim and um, definitely not how it works. I, th I think what we're trying to what we're trying to ask, and, and again, a lot of people out there are probably going to be thinking this, and uh, it's it's a lot more uh, the culture uh, it, for. You know, it's it's in you basically, but you're saying that you're you're learning it, and uh, it's hard to learn. I hope I'm putting this in the right words. It's hard to learn a, a, another race, and that's basically what you're doing. Is that is it right to say that? I feel like this guy's trying so hard to not say the wrong thing here because he's on skating on pretty thin ice, talking about becoming another race, and he's on TV. He doesn't want to screw it up, obviously. <laughs> There was something you did say to us was um, that you, you've got married and congratulations and that's lovely news. Yes, thanks. You, one day you are thinking about <laughs> having babies. You've been told by a doctor that your children will be black? 
yeah, they said they will be black. Also, we are not having planned uh, children equal, but I am discussing regularly with my doctor. Is everything uh, the body is is okay? Okay. Will the how it, um, is the baby okay? Is breastfeeding okay? And how will the baby look like? And, they and if that baby is not, because I'm trying to think biologically yes. how that's imp um, I can't see how that's possible yeah. genetically. Um, if it's not, will you feel close? If you give birth to a white child, will you somehow feel that this is not connected to you? No, it's it it a mix of Michael and me. It will, also, I will be able, also, I'm pretty sure it will be black, or it, if it is milk chocolate or a little bit lighter, it, it doesn't okay. matter. All I'm right, really I don't have to. I look at it as your body, your choice. Yeah. I, I, are you happy? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, uh, for, I say, uh, for, I had the same uh, treatment as Martina, but yes. for Martina it was, works uh, much better, and I wish me a little bit more tan. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll, All right. we'll see, we'll see you, you next time then. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, next thing, uh, them thinking their kid's going to be black. Okay, the way this drug works is... Like I mentioned, it stimulates a greater endogenous amount of melanogenesis and melanin production in response to UV exposure. So the process by which that occurs doesn't alter your chromosomes or your genetic code. It's, it's like me saying, oh, if I like inject a gram of testosterone into myself, then I'm going to have a superhuman kid <laughs> whose balls produce a gram of test on its own. Like, that's just not how it works whatsoever. Like, you can use as many synthetic exogenous hormones as you want in drugs, but it's not going to pass on the synthetic stimulation from that drug onto your kid's genetics. Like, that's definitely not how it works. Their kid's going to be white for sure if they're both white to begin with. That's just how it works. And the drug's not going to alter that whatsoever. And I'm wondering if this is the same doctor that sold them the injections in the first place that told them this. Because obviously it doesn't seem like the sharpest tool in the shed. And, uh, you know, this is just, this video is just a huge misrepresentation of what this drug is and what it does. So hopefully uh, you found it somewhat informative and interesting. Because when I saw this story, even with the, the title before I even watched it, I knew it was going to be about Milano 10 and I was going to want to make a video on it because it's uh, so misrepresented in the media and it's such an obscure random drug that no one knows about really. There's a lot of uh, information that's just garbage on the internet regarding this stuff because it's so obscure to begin with. And uh, I think if you go Google like uh, Milano Tan 2 results or Milano Tan 2 before and after, I'm probably still, I think I'm actually still the first Google result that pops up because it's so obscure. Hopefully that was informative and uh, clarified some misinformation that uh, once again, the media is putting out and not doing their proper research first. So anyways, if you guys like that video, drop a like, drop a comment, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to stay up to date when I post new videos. Check out my blog, moreplaytomoredates.com. Subscribe there for exclusive content that I don't post on the YouTube channel. Talk to you guys soon.